नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू अ यूट्यूब चैनल वीएलएसए फॉर ऑल अ हब फॉर टेक्निकल एजुकेशन एंड एन एपिसेंटर फॉर अफोर्डेबल वीएलएसए कोचिंग इन इंडिया टुडे वी आर इंडेड प्राउड टू हैव अ स्टूडेंट एंड कोर्स मेट मिस्टर विशेष हु इज स्टडीइंग एंड परस्यूइंग हिज मास्टर्स इन फ्रॉम द नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एट हमीरपुर व्हिच इज वन ऑफ द फेमस कॉलेजेस इन ईसी इन इंडिया सो विशेष विद योर परमिशन कैन वी स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन एयर Uh, yes sure yeah uh, so before we delve into the, uh, the the testimonial and your experiences can you please introduce yourself your uh, academic uh, qualification gate rank if any and like what are you pursuing currently and like uh, where you want to go uh, after your mtech okay yeah so uh, as you introduced uh, my name is vishesh kumar i am currently pursuing mtech in vlsi design from nit hamirpur uh, which uh, i got after qualifying gate in the year 2022 uh, my rank was not very great it was around uh, 6000 and uh, then like i completed my btech from kit university in bhubaneswar and i have done my my schooling class 10th and 12th from dav public school kolkata then uh, coming to the my mtech i have gained skills in the domain of uh, verilog uh, static timing analysis physical design basics only till now and digital design then from my coursework i have learned subjects like vlsi test and testability fpga low power design uh, which helped me and uh, then coming to uh, my projects i have done some projects like uh, uh, uart protocol uh, design and verification on verilog then i have done some schematic and layout level project like full adder and uh, mirror adder using schematic and then using stick diagram on layout uh, for this i have used tanner tool and i have also implemented uh, synchronous fifo project on uh, verilog hdl then uh, coming to some of my position of responsibility uh, like i am currently working as training and placement representative at nit hamirpur and uh, i am also working as graduate teaching assistant at my college nit hamirpur and i have uh, currently been selected for internship in media tech during my second year of college i will be working there and uh, uh, like i have uh, aspirations to become a vlsi engineer in my future yes uh, so coming to the uh, uh, our actual interview uh, like what course did you join uh, in vlsi for all and how is the course work there and how much time do you dedicate on a daily basis weekly basis for completing the modules yeah so uh, when i talk to rajat uh, like he to told me to like uh, join any course of your choice but you will be provided support across all the domains so rajat sir was like very helpful uh, was, like whatever material we needed we used to get and also there were some live classes also going on on verilog system verilog and some physical design interview questions like those things were also provided by rajat sir and then uh, like i did modules of digital sta a very log different very log coding i took help in some projects and uh, like i also started some basics of system very log and physical design and uh, yeah these are like the course work of rajat sir yes what okay um how is the like course work there the course work there like how are the teachers and uh, their peers and how did you get support from rajat sir or his team yeah uh, rajat sir was uh, supportive like he used to uh, guide us uh, like uh, in what way we can better prepare for interviews he also used to uh, like help us in mock interviews as well and like in what way in what a uh, module we have to complete and those things and he used to tell us that we have to be regular and everything but like 
sometimes during the semester exam or mid semester exams there was a pressure for us so it was like uh, we concentrated on only the semester exam for some days and then again we used to continue our course work uh, for rajat sir okay um so coming to the uh, course work how did your course work like in which you studied help in the real view uh, real interview experience like how um, how close uh, the questions were uh course work of uh, vlsi for all yeah exactly yeah uh, the very log and digital part uh, and also the stf part all the three modules are very helpful and rajat sir also provided some like uh, interview question with answers or like question bank which we can see like some common questions uh, that we can prepare and we can like also have a feel of the mock interview like how to answer how to frame our answers properly in what way we should answer like in what way we should describe our projects and everything like in those way uh, i got help from vlsi for all okay uh how was your real view uh, real uh, interview experience at mediatek or like any other company and how much did vlsi for all help in uh, in that yeah uh, i gave interview of intel and mediatek in intel like i was not selected the interview questions were mainly from my resume like uh, very log uh, sta and digital for very log it included like uh, good questions the level of questions were good in intel interview and uh, then uh, coming to the media tech interview like uh, there the interviewer sir asked for every point in my resume like we had a, a good talk on every skill and every project that i did and also like uh, he also asked about my some some of my favorite subjects or the subjects in which i have difficulties and how did i tackle them in my course work so he i told him about those things and uh, like vlsi for all course work helped me in uh, uh, very log uh, sta domain especially and uh, these subjects were like also included in my mtech curriculum here okay uh what are the uh, what skills are needed to crack an uh, interview at uh, uh, the media tech the company and like how much time did it take to you with the help of vlsi for all to uh, like comfortably clear the interview yeah uh i would say like at the time of joining mtech i was not very comfortable in very log or i have not even done much of sta as well uh i had digital knowledge from my gate preparation digital and like etc devices subject basic knowledge or gate level knowledge i had but like how to answer them in interview way like uh, what to what questions or answers can i expect in the interview like for those things vlsi for all and rajat sir uh, was were help very helpful for me and uh, apart from these uh, four subjects like very log static timing analysis uh, device digital electronics and if you have like uh, basics of system very log or physical design it would be helpful for your like on campus interviews and also some relevant uh, course work which helped me were like low power design uh, design for testability uh, fpga these were the subjects like which uh, interviewer asked especially that what i have learned in this subject and what practical things i have learned on this if i have implemented it or not and like how we can implement it on practical asic flow design okay um so do you want to say a few words to our audience about vlsi for all and its initiative okay uh yeah like uh, before vlsi for all like there are also some other institutes uh which are very helpful but uh, we are plus i for all is like helpful on uh, i think mainly for the students preparing uh, and they need guidance side by side and uh, like they need materials to uh, teach in a organize uh, like learn in a organized manner uh, for 
campus placement especially i think it was very helpful for me and even uh, when if you try for on campus off campus i would say that the courses are like uh, well designed and like you can take help from rajat sir by doing the uh, courses and help in the projects like which projects will be more beneficial for you and how he can help i think in that way we are safe for all was helpful yes sir uh, so we are at the end of the interview before wrapping up could you give some motivation tips to your viewers or aspiring mtech aspirants so that after watching this they feel more motiv uh, motivated to work harder uh yeah uh, during like this time uh, as we have all heard like semiconductor is on the rise so in india especially a uh, semiconductor market is growing day by day and it will continue to grow especially in the next 5 to 10 years so i would say that uh, to all the electronic gra graduates especially and uh, anybody who wants to pursue a career in electronics or semiconductor related domain so they can try to like get on top of their basics clear their basics and uh, then like see like what exactly skill to add in their resume so that they can be selected in their uh, company of their liking and also like uh, uh, if you are from any college uh, try to apply off campus as well and also like you can uh, try for gate and after qualifying gate like i did not have a very great rank it was okay but i took admission and then after i started working on my skills and then i got chance to appear for different interviews okay uh, yes sir we have come to the end of the interview thank you for being a student of ls for all and hope we do another video uh, which describe in detail about your journey in uh, in the next series until then thank you goodbye okay thank you